गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लीव क्लासेस आई एम अंशली चिल्ड्रन इन योर बोर्ड एग्जाम्स एटलीस्ट वन क्वेश्चन कम्स फ्रॉम नंबर्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ नंबर्स आर देयर लाइक प्राइम नंबर्स परफेक्ट नंबर्स पाई नंबर निवेन नंबर नियॉन नंबर एंड ऑलवेज वेन एवर यू गेट द क्वेश्चन ऑलवेज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दैट नंबर इज गिवेन so you don't have to learn the definition the main thing in number programs is that you know how to extract the digits and how to apply the logic and this will come only through practice so more and more practice is required for doing number programs so today we will be doing the question the program for the spy number you have to input a number and check whether it is a spy number or not if the sum of the digits of a number is equal to the product of the digits of that number then that number is said to be spy number let me take one example 1 1 2 4 suppose this is the number if we take the sum of the digits it will be 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 this is equals to 8 and product of the digits will be 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 4 this is again 8 so sum is equal to product so 1 1 2 4 this number is known as spy number like this different definitions are there in the pdf link today you will get different definitions of different types of number try doing those programs and in case of any problem you can comment in the comment section i'll try to solve your problems before doing the program i'll just explain you the logic and once the logic is clear it becomes very easy for writing the program say you have to input a number suppose we have entered the number now when the number is there there is no such method that we can extract digit by digit from left to right always the digit extraction will take place from the right side to left side right and all of you know that in maths a plus b equals to b plus a a into b is equals to b into a so if i do 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 or 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 the answer will be same so keeping that in mind we will extract digit by digit and then we will find the sum and the product so if the number is this you have to extract the digit extraction of the last digit of a number is done by using modulus operator you do modulus 10 if you divide the number by 10 and the remainder what you will get that is what we get from modulus operator so remainder is your last digit always so 1 1 2 4 modulus 10 let me explain you here 1 1 2 4 if you divide this number by 10 10 ones are 10 10 ones are 10 and again you have 10 twos are 20 remainder is 4 so the last digit we get when we are taking the remainder by 10 so this is equals to 4 so we take a variable for sum and for product and we will store this for over there and here also for we will multiply in s variable we will add now for next time for we have already taken for next time i want to extract 2 right so here if you see what is the number given from this number is extracted 1 1 2 and what it is this is the quotient if you are dividing the number by 10 in quotient you get leaving the last digit and in remainder you get the last digit so for the next time we will take 1 1 2 4 slash 10 slash 10 will give you the quotient part this is equals to 1 1 2 right now 1 1 2 modulus 10 again we will repeat the same process 1 1 2 modulus 10 will give you 2 now we add 2 to this number and we multiply 2 to this number so here you will have 4 plus 2 here you will have 4 multiplied by 2 now again what we have to do 2 is already taken we want 1 1 
for that again we will take 112 slash 10 will give you 11 now once we have got this 11 we will take 11 mod 10 this will result in 1 the right side 1 and again what we will do we will add 1 to this and we will multiply 1 to this number now after that also same process we will repeat 11 slash 10 10 ones are 10 and quotient you will get 1 now this 1 mod 10 10 zeros are 0 and remainder is 1 so you will get 1 mod 10 equals to 1 now again you will add 1 to this and multiply 1 to this and now if we will try to do this 1 slash 10 it will be 0 so we don't want that we have taken all the digits of the number 4 2 1 1 so we have to repeat this process till the quotient is more than 0 once it becomes 0 we will finish the loop and then we will check whether the sum is equals to product or not if they are equal that means the number is a spy number otherwise it is not a spy number so this number program you should do for any number of any digits the digit can be two digit number or even one digit or five digits or any number of digits can be possible in the number so we don't have to write the program for one particular number but that should be universally true for each and every number entered by the user so now let us start with the program i hope this logic is clear so children please try to understand the logic and you need little practice so please do the program with me and now let us start the programming statement before we proceed i would like to share some information with you about an academy yes you must have heard about an academy it is the biggest educational online platform and it is coming with a new test series named ascent it is for the children of class 6 to 12 as most of the viewers of our channel are from class 9th and 10th so children i want each one of you to participate in this online all india championship series this is for the subjects maths and science there are 40 questions and no negative marking date is 13th of february 2021 so just three steps are there step one enroll yourself and it is absolutely free step two attempt it live and know your score and step three top rankers will be awarded worth INR 5 lakh scholarships on Unacademy Plus. Yes, Unacademy Plus is giving the education by the top most educators for engineering, for medical, for defense and what not. So I want each and every child of our channel to attempt this quiz and enroll themselves. The date is 13th Feb, time is 11 to 12 for classes 9th and 10th. Total 40 questions, no negative marking for maths and science. So my best wishes are with you. And do tell me your performance in the comment section. Children like this, I will be giving you more information what I think will be beneficial for you from Unacademy and different sources. So stay blessed. You know that we have to input the number. So we will be using the first statement in the program is import import java.util.astrip util package is used to use the scanner class functions so we have written here class spy you can give any class name public static void main then we have created the scanner object and these two are very important here s variable i have taken for storing the value of sum and p variable I have taken for storing the value of product. If you see here, I have taken s equals to 0. 0 is additive identity. So whenever you have to store the addition result, you want to store the sum of any value, you have to take the initial initialization by 0. The initialization must be by 0 because if you add any number to 0, the value of the number will not change. 
Similarly, product, if you want to store, you have to initialize it by 1. Because 1 is multiplicative identity and the value of the number will not change. If you will take product equals to 0, any number you will multiply, you will get the final result as 0. So, addition should be initialized by 0 and for multiplication, the variable should be initialized by 1. This is very common mistake which children do. So, please don't do like this, right? Then we have given the statement to display the message, enter the number. Many of you don't write the display message, but children, I want you to write the display message so that when you execute the program, it should prompt the user that what is to be entered, how the user will come to know you have to enter the name or the age or the marks or the number. So always prompt the user, enter the number and then in n variable we have taken the number int n equals to sc dot next int. So this much is only input part. Now we start with the actual logic of the program. So we have to take the loop from where we started just now and I explained you the logic from where we started from the number, right? So we will take int i, -I a looping variable i equals to n n is the number which user has entered till when we have to repeat this process till i is greater than 0 we have seen till the quotient is more than 0 we have to repeat the process again and again and every time the next quotient how you are getting by i equals to i slash 10 slash sign gives you the quotient part so if the number is initially 1124 the next time we want 112, how you will get that? 1124 slash 10 will give you the quotient. So every time the next number has to be produced by dividing it by 10, right? Now here we have to extract digit by digit. For digit extraction, I can take one variable A over here. So here we will store the value of the digit in A i mod 10. I took the example 1124. 1124 mod 10 will give you 4. So in A we have the value of the last digit of the number, right? Now once we have extracted the digit, what we have to do? We have to add that digit to some variable and we have to multiply that digit to P variable. Extract the digit, add that to S, multiply that to p variable and next time again this process will continue till this condition is true and after this we will check if s is equals to p spy number where the sum of the digits is equal to the product of the digits so if s and p are equal simply you will print the message system dot out dot print ln it is a spy number. It is a spy number. Else print the message system dot out dot print ln not a spy number. Not a spy number. And then we close main and then we close class. Few of you have commented to do this program. So here is the program and please practice it. Let us dry run the program with one another value. Suppose the value of n is 1, 2, 3, right? So first time i is 1, 2, 3. Condition is true. 1, 2, 3 is greater than 0. Yes, condition is true. a is equals to i mod 10. 123 mod 10, the answer will be 3. The value of S will be 0 plus 3, this is equals to 3 and P equals to 1 into 3, this is also 3. Next time, I is equals to I slash 10, that is 123 slash 10, so it will give you 12. So, 12 is greater than 0, yes, condition is true, it will enter into the loop. So 12 mod 10, this will give you 2, s equals to s plus a, so 3 plus 2 will be 5 and 3 multiplied by 2 will be 6 over here. Next time, 
i slash 10 12 slash 10 will give you 1 condition is still true 1 greater than 0 it is true so a equals to 1 mod 10 it will give us 1 10 zeros are 0 and remainder is 1 s equals to s plus a this will be plus 1 6 multiplied by 1 it will be 6 after this 1 slash 10 it will give you 0 and now the condition is false so it will come out here s equals to p what is the value of s is 6 and p is also 6 so it will give us the answer it is a spy number i hope this program is clear to all of you i hope you have understood the program and you are enjoying learning with me and you are finding the subject now little more easy if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You can join us on our telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. Keep practicing, keep doing the programs, keep working hard. God bless you children.